When evil gets in the way, Batman comes to slay. In the DC Universe, one of the most iconic and complex characters is Batman. While Batman may not possess any superhuman powers, he has a very unique psychological profile. In this video essay, we will take a closer look at Batman and analyze his psychology, motivations, and how he breaks others mentally. Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, is someone driven by a strong sense of justice and an unwavering determination to rid Gotham City of crime which stems from the tragic murder of his parents. Bruce Wayne is also haunted by the trauma of his past, mainly the loss of his parents and the corruption and violence that has plagued Gotham City. This traumatic event has shaped his entire life and fueled his relentless pursuit of justice as Batman. I'm vengeance. These experiences have transformed Bruce into someone who is highly intelligent, resourceful, and dedicated to his mission of protecting Gotham City from evil forces. One theory that can be applied is the concept of the shadow archetype, which is based on the idea that individuals have a dark side composed of the unconscious aspects of their personality. The shadow archetype represents the darker aspects of an individual's personality such as repressed emotions, desires, and fears in Batman's case. Batman's shadow archetype is manifested through his alter ego, Batman. Bruce Wayne uses Batman as a means to channel his repressed anger, fear, and guilt which allows him to maintain a sense of control over his emotions and actions. This psychological theory is relevant to Batman because it highlights his internal struggle and his ability to use his darker aspects as a source of strength. As Batman, Bruce Wayne can confront his deepest fears and channel his anger into a force for good. However, this also means that Batman can sometimes be consumed by his darker nature, making it difficult for him to maintain healthy balance between his two personas. What really sets Batman apart from the others is his fearlessness, combined with his mastery of mental warfare. Think about the possibilities of someone who is afraid of nothing and a master of mental warfare. What would their lives look like? In the Dark Knight trilogy, Christopher Nolan explored the impact of fear on Batman Batman's psyche. Fear is a key component in shaping both Batman's identity and his approach to crime fighting. He embraces his own fear and uses it as a weapon against his enemies, striking terror into their hearts. This is evident in the first installment of the Batman trilogy, Batman Begins, where Bruce Wayne trains with the League of Shadows and learns to conquer his fear of bats. The Scarecrow, one of Batman's adversaries in the movie, also utilizes fear as a weapon, using a fear-inducing toxin to manipulate and control his victims. Batman's ability to master his fear and use it against his enemies is a testament to his mental strength and resilience. Another psychological concept that can be applied to Batman is the idea of moral absolutism. Batman operates under a strict moral code, refusing to kill or use lethal force even against his most dangerous enemies. What the hell are you? I'm Batman. This code is deeply ingrained in his character and drives his actions throughout his crime-fighting career. However, this moral absolutism can also be seen as a psychological weakness. Batman's refusal to kill someone can sometimes put him at a disadvantage against more ruthless enemies who are willing to do whatever it takes to achieve their goals. This conflict between Batman's moral code and the harsh realities of the criminal world in Gotham can create internal turmoil and emotional strain, adding another layer of complexity to his character. It's also important to consider the role of trauma and loss in Batman's psychological makeup. The death of his parents is the catalyst for Bruce Wayne's transformation into Batman, and this loss continues to haunt him throughout his life. Don't be afraid. The concept of post-traumatic growth can be applied to Batman, as he uses pain of his past to fuel his drive for justice and self-improvement. However, this constant internal struggle with trauma and grief can also take a toll on his mental well-being, making him more susceptible to emotional manipulation by his enemies such as the Joker in The Dark Knight. By understanding and acknowledging the impact of trauma on Batman's psyche, we can better appreciate the depth and complexity of his character. Another psychological theory that can be applied to Batman is the concept of vigilantism. Vigilantism is a form of self-appointed law enforcement where individuals take the law into their own hands without the authority of the legal system. Batman's vigilantism can be seen as a response to his belief that the criminal justice system in Gotham City is fundamentally broken and corrupt. 
while Batman's vigilantism is effective in fighting crime, it also poses a moral code and ethical dilemma. His actions often involve breaking the law, which raises questions about whether the ends justify the means. Batman's vigilantism is a strength in the sense that it allows him to make a significant impact on Gotham City's criminal underground, but it also serves as a weakness because it undermines the very principles of justice he seeks to uphold. As these psychological theories fit into the story of Batman, we can see a man who is both a hero and a tragic figure. His dedication to fighting crime and protecting Gotham City is admirable, but his methods and personal struggles reveal the complexities and contradictions inherent in his psyche. So the truth is, we love Batman because he can carry burdens no one dares to imagine. In conclusion, I give Batman a score of 300 out of 10 in mental toughness and psychological warfare, because he's Batman.